So over here, you can see that I got a question paper. And let's say I want to redact some information, that is make the information hidden. So let's the end user just wants to know the format. So what I want to do is I want to hide the information that is the uh, main questions. I just want to send them the format. In order to do that, I can use something called the redact information option. So in order to do that, you can actually go over here in the tools. And over here on the bottom, you can see that there's an option to redact. You can see the option over here to redact. So let me just go over here and I'm going to press add. Once I do that, I'm going to go back uh, to the file right here and I'm going to click on redact. And over here, you can see that you can now mark for redactation. But before that, I want to set the properties. And over here, you can see that I can redact the area fill color. So I can change the area fill color to something like yellow, let's say, for example. And I can also use overlay text. So I'm going to use something such as confidential right here. And other, other options are fine. So I'm just going to press OK. So now I want to select the areas for redaction. So I can actually go over here and then I can find text that I want to redact. So let's say I want to uh, like uh, redact the words uh, containing IBM. So I'm going to press IBM right here, set and remove text. And once you do that, uh, that actually uh, marks this out and you can mark the check results for redaction as you can see right here. But I don't just want to redact this, I want to redact all of it. So I'm going to go over here and select text and images and I'm going to press OK. And now what it allows me to do is select all of the text right there, just like this. I just want to select the number as well. And over here, I'm going to select everything out there. And so everything will be directed. So I just want uh, the end user to receive the format, but not the actual questions. And once I've selected, I can simply press apply. So I want to apply it for redaction. And it wants me that the uh, action cannot be repeated. So that's OK with me. So I'm going to press OK. And now everything has been redacted, as you can see, and you can see the word confidential right there. So confidential is there, the information has been redacted, you can see the format, and everything is uh, according to what we actually selected. And over here on the left side, it says that we can uh, that this document has some metadata, and if you want to remove it or not. So I'm just going to remove it out press OK. So it removes the metadata as well. So this is this fully is a uh, is a confidential document. Now, it does not have any information, it does not actually overwrite uh, the text with the yellow, line, yellow shapes or lines, uh, but it completely removes the information. So that is how you can use the redact option inside of Acrobat Pro DC. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.